read slowly, and finish more books. How to appreciate difficult books. How to read more books. How to read faster. How to speed read. So often when we talk about reading books, the conversations that we really end up having circle around the idea of efficiency. We're living in the informational age and there is no shortage of resources to help you read books faster. There are apps and there are websites and there are audiobooks with triple speed features. All of these services are designed to help you jump from one book to the next as quickly as possible. But our dear viewer, thank you. Peanut. What is lost when we apply this desire for speed and efficiency to the act of reading literature? To the art of reading, as I've called it in many other videos. To use the words of Edmund Burke, the famed 18th century Irish economist and philosopher, to read without reflecting is like eating without digesting. Today I'm offering you the same advice that I used to offer my undergraduate students at Johns Hopkins. Seek out great works of literature. Seek out books that speak to you and then be willing to move through them slowly because, and this is what you'll understand by the end of today's video, not only will you gain a deeper understanding of the texts, not only will you develop and strengthen a universally applicable muscle, but it is more than likely that the total number of books you read in any given year will remain relatively unchanged. And it will all relate back to the Burke quote I mentioned only a moment ago. And I hope that you'll remember this quote even after you watch this video and forget about it. Do you have a reading habit? If you do, tell us what it is in the comment section down below, and there is a good chance that I will feature it in an upcoming video. Roll the intro. <laughs> Education is not a competition. I mean, it definitely can be. It can definitely seem like a competition. <sighs> Thank you to the soul-sucking and meat-grinding <laughs> scape that is modern education. But anyways, the way in which you can get the absolute most out of your educational pursuits, let's call them, is not by looking at the scoreboard. Because when we do that, we condense the amount of time that's available to us to actually digest and learn from the information, to actually do the kind of learning that will benefit us across time. We end up learning nothing. We end up doing something that more closely resembles memorizing facts. And facts are not the point. Facts, for the most part, will not help us during our daily lives. They can certainly be helpful, but what I think is most valuable is the ability to think fluidly. The ability to take in information, spend a little bit of time with it, a little bit of time analyzing it, and then to draw valuable, self-benefiting, and creative conclusions. And I think this is something that literature teaches us how to do. And now there is another quote that I want to share with you from Italo Calvino. A classic is a book that has never finished what it's trying to say. This is what today's video is also about. Reading difficult books and appreciating difficult books is about being willing to compromise with the text before you. And part of the advice that I'm sharing with you today is advice that I've shared in the past. In this video, accept the fact that reading difficult literature and achieving your annual reading goal is a campaign. Consistency beats everything. So figure out what a daily maintainable reading habit looks like for you. Carve the time out on your calendar and get to work and start achieving your daily reading goal. Be willing to move slowly in a world that feels like it is getting faster and faster every single day. Because after all, to use the words of Rene Descartes, the reading of all good books is like conversation with the finest people of past centuries. So 
going forward, compromise with the books that you're reading. Allow yourself the freedom to slow down and embrace reading as a meditative exercise. And don't just appreciate a difficult book for being a difficult book. Appreciate the wisdom and the far-reaching value which reading a difficult book can offer you in a world that is always moving faster and faster. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll check out this playlist which has all of my recent video essays on the subject of reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe. And I also hope that you will have a great rest of your day, and I will see you.